Hey everybody, so this is the first stage of my making my, I guess, tree canopy terrain. Um, so this is actually fairly large and, and it's um, it's not a two foot by two foot box, but it's actually just inside a two foot by two foot, foot cube. Um, I just would have made it rounded so each long edge is about two feet. The way that um, I wanted the design um, was to be such that I could use it like this and then also I could just sort of grab it and pull it apart as well um, and have a flat edge against a flat edge of the game table and another flat edge just so I could mix it up a bit either have a huge forest or oftentimes just have you know a large forest encroaching on the terrain so um, the, the bottom and top of the canopies exactly the same or roughly the same. Um, let's see, I think I actually have it flipped here by accident. Sorry. So there you can see the side there is just a little bit different because I had it flipped. And so um, what I'll do here is this piece is just really has nothing done to it as well as the other canopy top. I'm actually going to work on the base first. Um, <clears throat> so here um, I have 7 16th inch dowels and this is actually made of MDF, I don't think I said that. Um, and so I actually cut MDF and then I drilled holes um, that were a bit smaller than the 7 16th and then I sort of forced through the 17, 7 16th inch dowel um, to make it somewhat tight. although. Given that it was just hugging the end of the dowel, I needed to do something else to secure it. And um, what I did is I took a two-part epoxy and put that around the uh, the bottom of the tree. And on the other side, where they went through, I also epoxied it. Try to really give it a bit, make it a bit tougher um, because the MDF is a lot weaker than the trees themselves that are in it and so from that perspective I wanted to toughen it up a bit. Um, so I think that's all. I, I think uh, I have plans to mainly do the same kind of tree but I'm going to do a couple a little bit of variation. Um, I'll talk about that later but the next step is I'm going to use a um, latex and the color really doesn't matter because I'll be painting it so I actually have two different colors just because I had some tan um, from my last plates that uh, I was I was doing and then I was only able to get brown at the store I was at next but essentially it's just a, a latex caulking and I'm going to spread that all over the base of the the model. Um, I'll cover up up to the tree trunk like covering up that epoxy and then once I'm I've got it there and it's still wet. I'm going to drop and compress sand um, on top of the, uh, the latex and then let that dry.